Okay, guys, how's it going? I apologize if the audio is a little hard to hear because I don't have my normal microphone. I'm having to use my built-in eyesight. I apologize for it being so long in between videos, and I apologize for this video being so short. This is a short little exercise that's just, um, just good to know, a lesson that's good to know. And um, I haven't stopped. Um, I plan on making more tutorials and stuff. It's just things have been really hectic on my end and busy. I haven't even had much time to make videos for my other YouTube channels even. So it's not that I'm not interested in doing this and helping people out. I still am very interested and still plan on doing many tutorials in the future. It's just things have been kind of hectic right now, so bear with me, guys. I'm hoping when it starts getting cold, things are going to slow down a little bit, and I'll be able to get back more into it as before. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and start on our little project, and it's going to, I call it color cycle, okay? So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make us a shape. I guess it can be anything you want it to be, but I'm going to draw an arrow, okay? So I'm going to come up here and take my Create Shape tool, and let's just quickly, quickly make a, a lopsided arrow here. It don't have to be no big deal. Just This is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and adjust it and make it look a little bit better. Like I say, this don't have to be perfect because this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, now we've got us a little arrow there, okay? So let's go over here to our inspector and let's select our shapes tab, okay? Now, there's going to be a feel mode, okay? So if you go down, you'll, say, you'll see feel mode under the style tab. We're going to change that to gradient. Now you can see that fills our arrow in with the gradient. So let's change our gradient to, I'm going to make it rainbow so you can see. Uh, well, we'll start with grayscale. We'll start with something simple. So we'll, we'll select grayscale for now. And now you can see how we have our grayscale gradient you know, applied to our arrow. Now what we're going to want to do is activate the, the adjust item tool. And we're going to do that by going up here and selecting this and hold. And you can see you can select all these tools. Or you can hit the tab key until you get to the tool you want. And that's the tool I want, my adjust gradient tool, like that right there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this gradient to go with the flow of the arrow. So let's change it this way, like this. As you can see, as I pull this out, I'm going to make it about like that right there. That looks pretty good, I guess, for now. Okay, so now that we've got our gradient adjusted to the flow of the arrow, let's go ahead and, and move on. So we're going to add a filter, and it's going to be a color correction filter, and it's going to be called Gradient Colorize. So if we go up to Add Filter, Color Correction, you'll see Gradient Colorize. Okay? So now that we have this gradient colorize applied, we're going to set it to say, I'm going to, I'm going to choose rainbow, like I was going to before. So let's go over here, select our gradient presets, and I'm going to select rainbow, like that. Now as you can see, that applies that rainbow gradient to our arrow that we made. Okay? So we're going to leave our repeats at 1 for now. You can adjust that later to, to suit your liking. And we're going to set the offset to 360. Okay, so let's go to our offset and set it to 360. Like that, right there. Okay. Now right click on the offset and let's select oscillate. Very, very, very good. Now, in our behaviors tab, select the oscillate behavior and change the, the, the wave shape to sawtooth. Okay, as you can see here, the wave shape is sine. We're going to make it sawtooth. Now let's turn the amplitude to 360. Now we can put our speed to 12. Okay. Now all this is relative. You can make the speed faster if you want it to cycle faster. It's completely up to you. Now when we press play, we're going to see the bright color shift up the arrow. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit play. Now as you can see, we have our gradient cycling through the arrow. Now I'm just using the rainbow color just to give you a good example so you can tell what's going on here. Now this could be cycling from red to white or from white to black or from you know like a neon sign. It could be, be anything and of course you can up your speed if you want it to be faster. 
you can see here now it's cycling really fast. I set my speed to 40. Now, this is a really useful little trick. It doesn't have to be used on, on, on an arrow. It could be used on anything. A road sign or a, a lighted sign or really basically anything that you can think of that could use, you know, a little cycle of color. This would be a perfect example. Now, I don't want you to think that you have to use it on a pre-made shape or something like that. No, this is just, I just used an arrow to show you guys how you get the cycle flow going. You can actually put this cycle, color cycle, on any any item, um, more than likely. So don't limit yourself to just an arrow. This wasn't about the arrow. This was about making the colors cycle through the shape. Okay? So there you go, guys. Quick little tutorial. I hope it's helped, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.